Hey Blender Bob here. So you have this Maya file that you want to bring into Blender. So you export it as an FBX, you load it into Blender. Good, you have your geometry, but none of the shaders have translated. Well, 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 I fixed this. Chat GPT and I, we wrote an add-on that will allow you to convert all the AI surface standard shaders into principal BSDF. Here we go. Let's start in Maya. This is the file that we have. So I'm going to select an object and take a look at the shader. And you will see that it's a very simple shader. The textures are connected directly into the input. There are no mix or nothing complicated. It's just plugged right in. And this is what we want. Of course, there are nodes for normal maps and displacement maps, but it's okay. They're supported. So what we want to do here is to run the script to export the shaders. So you will need to go in your script editor and load the file then all you have to do is to run it. So select all, press enter, and it's gonna run it. You will see this browser here. You save your file, wherever you want it. So this would support it on a Mac, PC, Linux, doesn't matter, everything will work. So you save your file, or call it whatever, export shader, doesn't matter. Save. Now the next thing we want to do is to export the geometry, because we want it in Blender. And for that, we're gonna use FBX. I'm gonna go export all, and I'm gonna save my file as an FBX file. Okay, now let's switch to Blender. What we're gonna do is to import this FBX file. So file, import FBX, choose a file and import it. You can see as expected that the shaders didn't translate well. So nothing has been translated. It's just default BSDF with a normal map connected to nothing. So we're gonna go into file, import Maya shader JSON. That's our add-on. And we're going to select the file that we have just exported from Maya, this one here. And we wait a few seconds and... Everything has been reconstructed. As you can see, it's all there. Now let's take a look at it in cycles. Everything looks good. There is one shader that didn't convert well. It's this object here. It should not be that dark. It should be beige. So let's take a look. This is what it's supposed to look like. Let's take a look in Maya why it's like this. And if we look at the shader, you can see that, haha, there are two things that are connected together in this node here. So that's, that's the problem. There's a ramp that has been uh, mixed with a texture and this is not supported. So it will only work if you have textures connected directly into the shader. If we compare two shaders from Maya into Blender, you can see that the uh, Arnold standard shader is very similar to the principal BSDF. So everything that is similar, I've been able to copy. But if you look at transmission, for example, there's a color transmission in uh, Maya that Blender doesn't have. But if we take a look at the coat, coat has the weight, the color, the roughness, and the index of refraction. That has been converted, but everything else, well, it doesn't have it in, uh, in Blender, so I couldn't obviously translate it. Uh, same thing for the sheen. You can see you have the weight, the roughness, the tint, everything has been converted. That's the exact same thing. You will have to adapt the displacement map values because the shaders will obviously not react the exact same way. But everything else should be pretty close. This is something that has been bothering me for such a long time, but now it's fixed. And I would like to thank Tinkerboy for helping me packaging it into a real add-on because before it was just a script and fixing little things that ChatGPT couldn't actually resolve. But now it's good, it's working, and it's free. The link is in the description. Bye.